right. So here is the Seven Years War Prussian Army. These are all Adler figures. Uh, the terrain I cannot remember. A time cast, I think. I don't remember the fields. The sheep are Bacchus. And um, I bought some of these from a company called Legions East. Uh, that's logs uh, for World War II. And I think they this kind of work for Seven Years War uh, in Prussian artillery. So these are all Adler figures. Uh, my army, uh, roughly based for some of the fighting that uh, Frederick did against the Russians. I've also uh, kind of got me back into this as I was reading um, Frederick the Great, uh, a military history. So just finished it and a uh, terrific book, really just gets into the military stuff, which I was more interested in than once again, reading about all the uh, the personal stuff and, and the art and, and all the philosophy that Frederick loved. Uh, you know, that's my other uh <laughs> my other profession so i didn't you know want to know more of the military stuff uh so a great book and kind of got me again excited about this army again all adler figures uh, i kind of try to be as historical as possible so if you look on the bottom I can't, i'm not going to try to pronounce the names uh, my german's not very good uh so i'm gonna butcher the trans the pronunciations but again all adler figures uh, my hope was, and I have zero time, like I said, I have a, a couple hours a week to paint, and that's now in the summer, things get hectic uh, September, so that's like maybe an hour a week at that point. Um, but my hope was to add, you see, I, I based them on three, so each battalion is on three, to add another two bases to each battalion, and then kind of make a little more substantial uh, right now it's it's three, but you know to add it uh, to three, four, five uh, for each battalion, and I'll, I'll I'll probably get there. What I decided to do with these is I base them as they come, so they come in these strips of four, uh, and then I base them on the stands, you know, in three rows of four. Uh, my problem is when I started playing around with the Austrians, the Austrian sculpts are based even further apart than the Prussians, and they don't fit on these bases. So what I was trying to avoid with the Adler figures was the problem of cutting them apart, which takes me forever, and then rebasing them. Uh, they're fiddly, I have to file them down, I have to use Gorilla Glue, it takes me forever to cut them and to base them. This was much easier. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the Austrians or if I'll ever build the Austrians or the Russians. I cannot use Prussians for the Austrians. I don't think I can use them for the Russians. Uh, unfortunately, Adler never really fully built out this range, even though I, I think the figures are fantastic, which is why I keep coming back to them. I know with the Napoleonic Adler stuff that I've played around with, I don't love them because I find the bayonets uh, tend to break or bend and that drives me crazy. Um, I'm a bit OCD with that. So if you look here, the bayonets are pretty sturdy. I mean, you look at them, they look pretty good. I find the, the, the Seven Years War stuff, for some reason, the bayonets were cast a little bit more uh, tightly. Uh, so they're harder to break. There's just some of the cavalry. So, you know, this is how I figured, you know, if I'm going to build an army <laughs> and I base plenty of them by cutting them up and then pushing them together, uh, I was like, I cannot spend an hour, you know, hours and hours and hours doing one, uh, you know, one battalion and one base here. So the only way I was able to do it is kind of base them as you see here. And I think they look pretty good. I mean, I, if I was cutting them, I'd probably add instead of four, I, I'd add five. Uh, but, you know, I think they look pretty good. And when I add another, you know, one other base there, it'll look like a lot of figures. Again, Frederick fought and they fought in three rows like this. Uh, but then, you know, I have the issue with the, you know, what am I going to do when I finally get to Austrians? But I'll, I'll cross that road in 10 years when I actually <laughs> finish something. Uh, so there they go. Uh, the army of Frederick the Great. I'll try to get a bigger view there. Uh, yeah, some of the cannons and then some of the I figure I can use this in fortified uh, camps maybe um, oh I had been using these to kind of help move them around so like they're small for me um, so you know, kind of these are from Shogun Miniatures, by the way, a company I love. Uh, such a nice guy, and you know, I can email him. He, he cuts them exactly to how I need them, and then they're they're at my door in like a, a week at most. Um, so you know, then you can kind of move them like that. But I, I, that's kind of how I store them too. You see, I have kind of the, the names on the back too. But um, I like them. You know, kind of out like that when I photograph them. And I have, if I ever play a game, the only real games I've experienced with is One Hour War Game and Black Powder. I just have zero time to play. Uh, so 
trying to get the stuff at least uh, at least painted. So there you go, uh, the Seven Years War Prussian Army, an army I built uh, with Bacchus figures, I built with Adler figures, and many uh, iterations. And now finally, I think I've got something that I, I like. Uh, there's Frederick him, Frederick himself, my attempt at Frederick, and some you know, unnamed uh, unnamed other commanders in there. Uh, Frederick artillery. Honestly, these guns are Adler. Uh, for my American Civil War ten, uh, six millimeter stuff, I've used Bacchus guns just because the wheels are, are on there already. Just so fiddly to, to put the wheels on. Uh, again, I have to make, uh, you know, the Adler guns are beautiful, but again, I have to make adjustments for time and compromises, and I really like the cavalry again. You know, again, my, my not great painting, but you know, the best I can do. I think they fit the bill. I know I've got some constructive criticism that I have to do some work on the flags and that's something that, yeah, I do have to fix them up. I see, you know, fix the whites a little bit in there, but I think they look they look good. And again, I mean, with all my criticize, I have a love-hate relationship with the Adler figures, but I mean, I just think when they're painted like this and they're, they're, they're on the table, I mean, they're, they're just beautiful, beautiful figures. All right, so there we go. Uh, hopefully I got enough of a look at the army. And the real kind of like panorama, real like, you know, view of like a real army is what I love about six millimeter, 10 millimeter scale. So I'll end the uh, video there. And there's the cranky old, uh, cranky old, old uh, Frederick who made a habit of running from battlefields, <laughs> but did fend off all of Europe himself. So there we go. Uh, the Seven Years War Prussian Army.